Hello YouTube friends! Welcome back to So Aldo. On today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a three-layered ruffle skirt using a vintage bed sheet. So if you would like to see how, then keep on watching! For this project, you will need these patterns. I actually showed you how to do this in a separate tutorial. I'm just going to have that link in the description box below or at the end screen. So you can go ahead and watch it. Next thing I will do is cut out the pieces. So I actually cut out the lining pieces first. For the front of the skirt, it's going to be cut on fold and then the back pieces are going to be two pieces just because I will add zipper at the back. The back pieces, I placed the pattern on fold and then I gave it one half inch seam allowance that will accommodate the zipper at the back. We'll end up with nine pieces, so three pieces per tier. After this, I am going to cut out the main fabric. So for the main fabric, I placed the pattern on fold and I actually added 4 inches away from the fold. So I placed it just like so because I wanted the skirt to have some gathering. And then I extended the length of the skirt by 3 inches just because I wanted to overlap to cover up the lining. Use this piece to cut out the back pieces. Place it about one half inch away from the fold that will accommodate the back seam or the zipper. And then I go ahead and cut it out. So I will have three pieces per tier just like the lining pieces. I then repeated the same process for the second tier and the third tier. Second tier, I didn't have enough fabric that will cut two pieces at once. I just cut the back pieces separately. If you are wondering, the size of this bed sheet is actually twin. So not a lot of fabric to work with, but it still uh, work out just fine. Also pay attention to the pattern of the fabric. So if you notice, all the patterns are going up. Just be sure that you do that to all the pieces or else your skirt is going to be like upside down. You should have 9 pieces all together. You will have 3 pieces for each tier. Let's go to my favorite part of sewing which is assembling the skirt. I basically match the side seams of the skirt and then sew it along the edges just like I did here on the lining pieces. Now I am going to match the side seams of the first tier. So I match the right sides of the fabrics together and I'm going to sew along the edge. So I will have a one continuous piece. I will repeat the same steps on the second and third panels. After that, I am going to sew two rows of gathering stitch along the top edge of the panels. These pieces I'm working on are the second and third tier. So whatever I do on these pieces are going to be the exact same thing. The top tier is going to be different just because it will have a waistband and a zipper. So I will do that separately. So now I am just going to do a gathering stitch. If you do two rows of gathering stitch, it is actually much easier to gather and the gathers are very stable and it looks nice and neat. Now I am going to gather the panels to match the width of the lining. Thank you. 
now that they are approximately the same width I am going to pin the shell on the lining so I'm going to pin on the right side of the lining after that I am going to sew it all around and I will repeat the same step for the second tier now it's time to attach the third tier on the second lining be sure that you are pinning on the right side of the lining so right side of the lining and right side of the main fabric or the shell fabric together and then I will sew it all the way around Now this is the moment of truth. Yay, they are attached. I was kind of nervous that I'm going to have to sim rip it, but it turned out perfect. Now I will be making a waistband. So it is two and a half inches on fold and it's about 26 inches long. I will add a zipper at the back so I can actually put the skirt on. I place the zipper on the back seam and I mark where the zipper ends. I will sew the back seam from that mark going down to the hemline, which is about 3 inches long. I repeated the same thing on the lining but the lining is a little shorter than the main fabric so where the zipper ends and the back seam is actually just one inch and I'm going to sew the back seam make sure that you back stitch Then I am going to sew two rows of gathering stitch just like I did on the second and third tier. Then I will lightly gather it to fit the waistline of the lining. Now that they are approximately the same width, I am going to pin on the right side of the lining. Correct side of the main fabric is facing out as you can see here. So trying to distribute the gathers evenly so it looks nice. After that, I am going to sew it in place. And then I am going to sew the lining and the main fabric for the zipper. So it will be so much easier to work with because I am working on one piece of fabric. I am going to place the zipper just like so and this time I'm not using an invisible zipper and it was super easy to do. I cannot believe it. To make it more easier for you, you should press it first so it's much easier the fabric lays flatter on the zipper. Then I am just going to sew it and I'm actually just using a regular presser foot here. Once you reach the end of the zipper, just lift up the presser foot and pivot the fabric. Sew across and then pivot the fabric again and continue on sewing all the way to the top of the zipper. We are almost to the home stretch you guys. All I need to do is attach the waistband and it's super easy. Now let's go ahead and do that. Press the waistband and I added iron on interfacing just because I want the waistline to be nice and stable. I just added fusible interfacing on one side of the waistband just because I don't want it super stiff. So now it's time to join the ends. So I open it up like this, match the right sides and sew it right here and I will do the same thing on the other end.
and then I'm going to trim the corners ever so slightly and then I'm going to turn the waistband right side out after that I am going to fold in the waistband I'm going to fold the seam allowance by one half inch and I'm going to press it just like this I open up the zipper and I place the waistband just like this basically sandwiching the raw edge of the skirt waistline inside the waistband casing and I'm going to pin it to secure look you guys it's perfect fit it's very satisfying to look at then I'm going to stitch it along the edge making sure that I'm also catching the fabric at the back Now the zipper is nicely attached, I am just going to place a fastener right here. Now it's time to attach the bottom of the skirt to the first tier. So just like I did before, you are going to place it on the right side of the lining. First match the side seams and the back seams and then clip all the way around or pin all the way around. Now let's see and take a look of the beautiful skirt. I am so pleased and it looks really nice. Now all what's left to do is actually hem the skirt. I will have to hem three times. So what you can do is you can double fold it or you can serge it and fold it once and sew all the way around. And this is the final skirt. I absolutely love how it turned out. I actually named this skirt Rosemelyn just because I just love that name and she is one of my awesome subscriber and viewer. So thank you so much Rosemelyn for watching my tutorials. I truly appreciate you for supporting this channel and my Facebook page So Aldo Official. So that's it you guys and thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give this a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit the notification bell so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. I will see you next time. Bye!